guys, today I'm going to be doing a haul video because um, I went into town the other day and got a few bits and yeah, so let's crack on. Um, the first place I went to was Primark and I didn't get, and I didn't get that much in Primark. I felt pretty uninspired when I was in there to be quite honest. Um, but the first thing that I picked up, which I've already worn, hence why it's inside out, was this black t-shirt with kind of mesh detailing and it's just really simple but the detail on the shoulder makes it stand out I think. And it was on the sale rail, and I think it was two or three pounds. So, yep, yeah, couldn't resist that bargain. Last thing I got in Primark was this cushion, which is so so super soft, and it's uh, got like little swirls, which kind of look like roses. I don't know. If they're supposed to be my roses, but they're swirly. Yes, they're swirly. And it was three pounds, and don't know why I didn't take the label off before. But yeah, that's that. The place that I went was Superdrug, and um, I got this necklace, which I've worn non-stop this week. It was reduced from six pounds to three pounds, and yep, yeah, that's that. The next thing I got was this eyeshadow palette by MUA, and it's called Undressed. It looks, I really liked it, and and I've been meaning to get a new eyeshadow palette palette for so long, and I'm the kind of person that, as much as I would love to spend loads of money on makeup it's just not realistic for me so I found this palette and it was four pounds in Superdrug and it is really good for the money. Next thing I got was another One Direction lipstick. I have uh, another one in whatever colour Zeng's was but I decided to get a darker one, it's really stiff, a darker one for the autumn winter and this one's Harry's one and I, I prefer the consistency of this so much more than of my other one it's much creamier and I'm wearing it right now and yep that this one feels much better quality than my previous one which was quite dry and just cheap looking but that one wasn't as hard to unscrew as this one is because I like normally like to do it with one hand so I can yeah last thing I got was another baby lips. I have already got the Hydrate and Pink Punch. Is it Pink Punch? or Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Well, this was the last one that I really wanted to get and I'm not too bothered about the other ones. So now I have the three that I really wanted and I'm going to open it soon and try it out. Next I went to the 99p store and just picked up one thing which is this hair wrap, we call them turby towels in my house, I'm not really sure if that's the correct term but it's basically just one of, in case you don't know, it's basically just one of those towels that is meant to be wrapped up when you get out of the shower and I've already got this one but I broke the um, little elastic thing that you clip onto it or whatever and so I got another one because it's really good and the towel is really soft and I feel like it does more, f it make, and I feel like it makes my hair feel quite softer than it normally does. Next I went to Savers and got some shower gel because I needed some, not very really interesting, but it smells amazing. Oh, I can't wait to use it, I'm going to smell so good. It's um, just a berry shower gel by Radox. Yep, hopefully it's good. And the last place I went was uh, the charity shop that I volunteer in. I had a 
massive bag of things that I needed to buy. So, yes, I'll start with the miscellaneous kind of stuff and then I'll do the clothes at the end. First of all, I got this Sally Hansen nail varnish, diamond strength in number 86, wedded bliss. And I am wearing it right now. It looks like this. And it was brand new because uh, we stock brand new Sally Hansen's for 99p. So, yeah, I couldn't resist that. Next, I got two DVDs. I got Pineapple Express because I just love this film and I didn't have it already. And next, I got season two of Family Guy because I had seasons one, three, four, and five, and I didn't have two, and it was really bugging me that I didn't have two. So when I saw this at work, I had to get it. Next, I got a makeup bag. Um, it's so much from originally from Primark, and yes, I wanted a new makeup bag, and I saw this, and it looked like it hadn't even been used, and. Yeah, it is quite old though because it has that old label on it. But I don't think it's been used, it's really clean inside. Next, I got. I've just started getting into reading. Um, I've never been the type of person um, that would read anything apart from a magazine. Um, but I've just finished Looking for Alaska, which I really enjoyed. And um, then I saw we had Vampire Diaries books at work and I watched the show and I love the show. It's probably my favourite TV show. And um, so yeah, I got books one and two, three and four and six because I saw them a couple of days ago and I, it had all of them, one, two, three, four, five and six. And then when I went back yesterday, someone had already bought five. So I was really gutted about that. I'm going to have to get that on Amazon. But yeah, I'm really excited to read these because they're different from the TV show a little bit, so it'll be cool to see something different. Next I got this, because I've wanted to get it for ages, but like I said before, I'm cheapskate. I wasn't going to pay like 20 quid for it. I got it for £1.50. So yes, and I haven't written it yet, uh, I haven't read it yet, but I look forward to now, on to the most fun part, all the clothes. I was quite restrained actually. I don't have nearly as much as I normally buy. First, I have this plain white vest with, I'm not, I have no idea what material, like what style this is, but it's like that. And it has a zip at the back. It's just really simple. But nice, nice detailing with the zip. And it was originally from Gold Digger. So that's that. Next I have just a plain white t-shirt. Because I realised that I don't have a plain white t-shirt. And I thought this one was nice because it's kind of flowy at the bottom. So yeah, just plain white staple piece kind of thing and it was from Marks and Spencers originally. Next I have this leopard print. It's in the same material as the gold digger vest and it's just a leopard print t-shirt originally from Primark and it's just the kind of thing I can throw on with jeans when I'm going shopping or going to work, something like that. And it's really wide. That's like humongous. But yep. Yeah. Now the next three things and last things are my favourites. First I've got this wine coloured long sleeve top with this really really cool Peter Pan collar. And it's like leather sequins kind of thing and it's so cool I really really like it this was originally it just says limited collection I don't know if that's the name of the brand or I'll have a look in the label up here I have no idea if that's what the name of the brand is it just says limited collection and it was made in Turkey so yeah 
maybe I'll have to Google it and look into that. So yeah, that's really cool. I really like that. I'm really in love with this one. It's just this vest. And it's just yellow and grey flowers. And it's got these two panels here. This one which is like black with grey speckles. And then this one is a more... It's just and this one is just grey and it was originally from Zara and I really really love Zara stuff whenever we have Zara stuff come in the shop I'm always the first person to buy it because I just love it but I can't really afford to shop there to buy the new stuff so yeah that's that and last but not least this heart print play suit originally from Select and I've never owned a play suit before because when I was about 15 or 16 I tried one on and it was just the most unflattering thing I've ever worn in my life so I just thought well it must be all play suits that don't look nice on me but then I actually bought this before I tried it on I tried it on when I got home and luckily I quite liked it it wasn't the most flattering thing I've ever worn but I like it enough to not care <laughs> so yeah and I feel like you can wear this so many ways you can dress it up or dress it down you could wear it with like black and white converse and a leather jacket and it can be really casual or you could wear it with some heels and a blazer or something on a night out Ding. thanks for watching guys bye